returns for us. I mean, everyone gets the flu. Everyone's affected by the flu. Everyone at some point or another has been told by friends, physicians, even at work, that it's beneficial to get a flu shot. You don't want to come down with the flu. It's understandable. We want to take precautions to make sure that we're able to work and play. Now, it does affect us in certain ways, especially if we have respiratory issues. People will have serious issues with this. And also, in worst case scenario, there are deaths leading from the flu. Now, in terms of worldwide, there's been over 100,000 cases of coronavirus reported. And as of right now, 3.6 thousand deaths reported. Now, compared to the flu, once more, we get more cases of the flu than we do with coronavirus. The flu is more common. So why is it not blown up to proportions as coronavirus? And to answer that, we must take a small trip. Come forth, ye crier, and spread the word of the kingdom of hysteria. Let all the masses gather upon the square and sing the revered song of madness. I know a little Shakespearean, but this proves a point. We are in an age of mass hysteria. Mainly, it is brought on by social media, it's brought on by normal media outlets, radio, TV, newspapers, but the spread of it, the spread of the mass hysteria that we're going through right now relating to coronavirus is mainly through the internet. One person will report something and it gets misconstrued. And this has been the case for quite a while with different things. I mean, we can actually go down the list here. SARS in 2002. Remember that issue? Still a big issue, but not as big as it was. Uh, MERS in 2012. Ebola 2014 through 2016. And even two years ago with the Zika virus. Even this past year, we dealt with the one of the largest outbreaks of the flu that we've had. And it just seems like that media, the new age criers, decide to take the ball with this and run with it further than what it should. Even the CDC is voicing that media should not blow this out of proportion because the Wuhan virus or coronavirus, whichever you want to call it, it is an issue. Yes, it is an issue, but it should not be made out to be the equivalent of the Black Plague. And that's what we're looking at. I mean, we've seen the different posts. We've heard people discuss this. And Lord knows, I'm not the only podcaster here that's trying to shed light on how ridiculous the widespread attention is on this. Yes, it is a world pandemic, but it is not as bad as the flu. Yes, people with respiratory issues, autoimmune issues will be affected a lot more. But simple hygiene can actually save you a lot of grief on this so let's talk more about mass hysteria through media and i already mentioned sars mers ebola zika and you you can tell whenever those specific diseases came out those viruses were made known through social media and through different media outlets people were in a frenzy it was the end of the world this is going to take us out this is what's going to destroy us it, even if you want to go in terms of religion 
every time that we came out with a new virus, it was almost like if Armageddon just decided to take a jumping point and it's kicking off right now. We're all going to be burning. And as always with each one of these, it wasn't the case. Yes, there were deaths. There was a lot of hysteria. And you're going to hear me say hysteria quite a bit. There was a lot of hysteria relating to these because we didn't have knowledge. And as knowledge began coming up on how to prevent and how to treat these viruses and what to do in order not to be affected, it became misconstrued. People began believing what media outlets were saying without proper knowledge of what it is we are dealing with. And that's what's going on right now. Take a look at what is going on in your local towns. People rushing to buy up stock and toilet paper. I mean, back in the day, if people were buying that much toilet paper, they're going to TP a house. Or even make a makeshift mummy costume, depending on where budget lies. And it always happens that way. And we can take a look at other cases of mass hysteria. Who all remembers Y2K? That's right, all the computers are going to shut down because they're not set to be t calibrated to the year 2000. It's going to be pandemonium. Everything's just going to crash and burn, and yet, look what happened. None of that happened. It was a doomsday scenario that was concocted by one person, and the media took off with it. Or, I should once more call them the modern age town criers. They were the ones who ran with this story, and everyone began getting freaked out. Is there a reason why to just be freaked out by this yes and no we have dealt with so much that is similar to this and it's been proven and time and time again after the mass hysteria after the cries that everything's going to fall apart we are still here we're still living, we're still breathing. There's always going to be another moment where someone's going to run with something and it's going to cause an outroar. It's going to cause a, 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 a break, a break in logical thought. And this is where the madness lies. Even I, as of right now, by coming on here and saying that we should listen to the CDC, we should listen to physicians, we should not be part of the media hype train, I myself, your wonderful melodious host, is feeding into the mass hysteria. Because there's two sides of this mass hysteria. There are those who are afraid that everything's going to go to the wayside. That's why we have the disaster preparers. That's why we have the people rushing to stores. That's why we have cities and states calling for states of, a, of emergency. That's why we have towns across the nation shutting down there's I, I tried reading this and I wanted to write it down but I forgot <clears throat> but there is a there's a governor in one of the states that actually told his people to have enough food and supplies for two weeks even though there was not a case of coronavirus in that area this is how crazy it has gotten this is how the flames of mass hysteria has taken over it isn't coronavirus that we should be worried about it's the virus of not thinking it's the virus of non-logical process 
that is going to affect us more. So what I am suggesting, because this is the other side of the hysteria, the ones that want to educate you about this, and the CDC has it correct, and it's just like any other virus prevention, wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer, if you can find any at the store, because whenever I went, and mind you, I do have to get out of the rabbit hole once in a while, there was hardly any hand sanitizer around because so many people are just in a tizzy over this. But good hygienic process, washing your hands, warm water, soap, that helps. Whenever you're coughing, do not cough into your hands, cough into your sleeve. If you feel sick, stay home. It's okay if you miss a day of work or two. The main concern is your health, especially if you have an autoimmune disease or you've been sick with pneumonia or the flu or the common cold, anything that can affect your, your respiratory system. These are things that are just simplistic yet important. And I know many other podcasters are going to be saying this. But do not feed into the hysteria. Do not become the pawn of the new age town criers. Because once you believe only what they say, which is only part of the story. Now granted there are some outlets that are doing well with actually giving out real facts about what is going on. But once you believe a half-truth, you begin going on your tangent of madness without actually thinking, without actually analyzing, without having the full truth. Now, you do not want to be stuck in the middle of the kingdom of hysteria. You do not want to be within this era of panic. This is the time where everyone has to slow down and actually begin to think as an individual. You cannot allow yourself to be caught up in this wave of madness. Even though Madness is what we're all about here at Cheshire's Place, but there has to be logic behind it. So that is my two cents.